Oh, hello. I wanted to catch a little bit of fishing before we got a chance to meet. The name of my company is Half Twisted Half Knot. I'm a balloon entertainer. I do comedy as well as twisting a wide variety of balloon friends. You're probably watching this because I've been invited to an event near you. And I want to discuss with you the rules and etiquette of receiving a balloon. One of the first things you should know is I do not make balloon hats. The reason for this is balloons can pop, shrink, and squeak. It's right near the ears and the eyes. If it pops, it could cause an injury. I don't want to see anyone hurt. You should also know that balloons are very sensitive to excessive heat. If you're going to put a balloon in a car, make sure to gap the windows to allow for the car to keep a little bit cooler. It'll give your balloons a better chance at lasting. You should also know that balloons tend to be very popular. So you want to get in line as early as you can because at the end of the day, when the line is done, the line is done. We are now going to answer some of the most commonly asked questions. Question number one. What is your real name? I don't have a name. Some nine-year-old once asked me, can I have your name? Never gave it back. Then I got married and my wife took my last name. Then we had a child and she gave my son my middle name. Now I don't have a name. So most people just call me the balloon guy. Question number two. Hey, are you the balloon guy? Actually, no I'm not. A balloon guy would actually be made out of balloons. I just happen to twist them into various animals. Question number three. Can you make me a balloon dog? No, unfortunately, you were a real child, and I could never turn you into a balloon or a dog. Question number four. Do you make dolphins? I'm sorry, I don't make those on purpose. Question number five. What is the coolest thing you've ever made with a balloon? A dollar an hour. I've just been informed they wanted to know what is the most complicated thing I've ever made out of balloon. And I'll show you that in a second. Question number six. Are you happily married? I am. She's not. I play with balloons all day. Question seven. What kind of loser plays with balloons all day? Will someone please tell my mother-in-law not to fill these out? Question number eight. What kind of balloons can we expect at our event? Well, those balloons can range from a one balloon animal like this, which is a jumping mouse, all the way to something that's bigger, 
and more complicated. The smaller the line, the bigger the balloons. The, the bigger the line, the smaller the balloons, with slightly bigger balloons given out randomly. How would you describe your show? Well, I would say that it's a very refined, elegant, sophisticated show for the whole family. Say banana. Banana. If you were to describe your show in one word, what would that word be? Amazing, fantastic, wonderful, superior, excellent. No, that's two words. Do your balloons come with a guarantee? Absolutely. If they're not popped by the next day, if you want them popped, bring them to me, I'll pop them for free. What are some of your favorite events to perform at? I would say it's fairs and festivals. I love county fairs because they have great food. I mean, they have ice cream, hot dogs, cotton candy, all the stuff that I like. What is the best time to get a balloon? Well, if you show up early, there's a better chance that you might get a bigger balloon because there will be less people in line. The longer you wait, the more people will get in line, the smaller the balloons tend to be. However, I will say, if I'm doing an evening event, you want to come then uh, to get LED lights so your balloons actually light up. It's impressive. What do you do in your spare time? I'm a professional basketball player. Can you tell me how long I should expect my balloon to last? Well, it depends on how old you are. In the hands of a two-year-old, 10 seconds. In the hands of a 10-year-old, a few days, maybe a week, a month, maybe a year. In the hands of a nine-year-old, three seconds. Three seconds. How long have you been twisting balloons? I've been twisting them for 37 years. I want to become a balloon artist when I grow up. What is the worst part of being a balloon artist? It's dealing with inflation. That's why I use a pump. Where can we see you perform? Well, if you're watching this video, there's a good chance that the people who are putting this video up have invited me to be there for you. Ask them or pay close attention to their social media. Final question. I've noticed you haven't twisted a single balloon during this video. Is there a reason why and can you Twist one for us. Well, let me be quite honest. I don't usually twist balloons on videotapes because I don't want my competition stealing my ideas. But because you're a special friend, I'm going to make a special balloon for you right now. I'm going to make the cutest balloon I know how to make. It's a baby turtle. I'm known for my baby turtles. I've actually won an award for the baby turtle. Ladies and gentlemen, the baby turtle. You start off with a five inch balloon. You twist it, you tie it. Ladies and gentlemen, the baby turtle. It's an egg. What do you expect from me? Oh, we're out of time. 
Hey, thanks guys. I appreciate you coming to be with me today. Uh, I hope you get to see me at the event so you can actually see what I really do. Um, looks like I did this all in one take, so thanks a lot guys. Bye. This show has been brought to you by Half Twisted Half Knot. In no way does this video reflect upon the promoters of this event or upon Half Twisted Half Knot's mother. She made me add that. Were any balloons harmed in the making of this video? Only the reputations. They deserve better than that.